Hey, what's up guys? It's Finn Toybox here with another DC action figure review. Today we are reviewing the DC Collectibles Icon Series Wave 1 Batman. You can pick this up at your local comic book shop, Amazon, Big Bad Toy Store. I haven't really seen these at any Toys R Us's or Targets or anything, so probably stick to your local comic book shop. And I gotta say, DC Collectibles did a really good job on the first figure of their new Icon Series. I really like this figure. I mean, there are parts of it that could be a little bit better, but overall, it's actually a really nice figure. The articulation is very poseable. It looks very nice. It feels very, it feels very neat. Like very, it's not messy at all. I really like the look of this Batman figure. I don't really know what comic series this is from, but nevertheless, I really like the look of it. I like the added wrinkles they have right here above the eye. Man, the muscle definition looks really nice on this figure. It looks very real. Like, this could be like a real person underneath this suit. Because sometimes in comic books and figures, you get almost more of like an overproportionate uh, chest area. And I like how this seems very proportionate to the rest of its body. I like the, uh, the bicep, the wrinkles right here on the bicep. I think those are a really nice added touch. You can see the, the creases right here on his on his chest that looks like it's pulling the fabric, which looks really real, and I really like that about it. You get some really nice paint here on the utility belt. If you can tell, you get some gold, gold brushing right there, and then you get some really light, if you can tell, some tan dry brushing right there on the pouches. It looks really nice. It looks very real, like it's very worn. Also coming down here to the crotch area, I like the added, the added wrinkles right here, so it looks like it's being pulled. I really like the blue paint they I really like the blue paint they used on this. It looks really nice. I really like the glossy plastic they used for his uh, gauntlets and his boots. It makes it look much more sleek compared to the other parts of the figure, which are more of a matted type of plastic. And it just looks really good. Oh man, I love the deco on this figure. That bat symbol looks really nice. It reflects light pretty well. It's a, and like I said earlier, it's another part of the figure that's really matted when it comes to paint, while opposed to the gauntlets and boots, they're more glossy looking. Oh man, I, I truly do really like this cape. I love the all like the lines and the waves through it. Normally, I'm not a huge fan of like the rubber uh, pliable capes, but this one I'm a, I'm a pretty big fan of since it doesn't really hinder the articulation. You can see that the shoulders are free to move around. And it just looks really natural compared to the helm, the head. Man, I really like the look of this figure. This figure has some really nice articulation to go with the good paint and sculpt. His head doesn't really move up or down, which is kind of disappointing since you have the grapple gun, which would be good for like zipping through the air and those kind of shots. His head moves sideways with a little bit of force. Moves sideways there again. His arm moves out, forward. Has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. He has wrist swivel, which is nice. He doesn't really have any forearm swivel, which is, I kind of prefer. I mean, what's the point? He has a nice ab crunch. This part, this upper upper chest moves down a little bit, and then this waist moves down a lot. Moves that much forward, that much back. No rotation at the waist, which is kind of disappointing. I would have kind of liked that. His legs move out, this much forward and not not back like at all and that's that's the one part of this figure that disappoints me i wish you could have some uh calf a calf cut right here so he could move his legs more for like flying shots and stuff he has good double jointed knees he has a nice boot cut right here that swivels he, his ankles go down and up and has ankle pivot with this figure, we get two pairs of hands plus one grapple gun hand. And I gotta say, I really like these hands. It comes with two grabby hands, two fisted hands, and uh, like I said, the grapple gun hand, which is really nice. You just pull on this string, and it just goes through there for shots and such. It, it goes really nicely. It's a really nice accessory. He also comes with two really small batarangs, which, I mean... They're cool, I guess. Like, I don't really have much to say about them. I mean, they look nice. They fit in his hands pretty well. So here is the Icons Batman compared to some other Batman figures I own, and the Icons Batman's probably my favorite at the moment. I don't know, I just, I really like it, and I think it beats the other two. Overall, I think this is a really good Batman figure. I'm very happy with it, and I'm happy to add it to my collection. It poses great. I do wish it had a thigh cut and some head articulation, but for $20, I mean, I can't really complain. This is a really good figure. Okay, well, I'll catch you guys later. Keep on posing.